one of the uh, holy grails, if you like, relating to uh, good development work around reducing vulnerability uh, relates to community capacity. And again, that sounds like a jargon word, but it's around people's skills, ability, cohesion. People are the drivers of change, and the ownership of issues and problems needs to be with people. There's a well-known phrase in, in our world called, uh, which is, uh, whose reality counts, by, uh, by a great thinker called Robert Chambers. And I live in the UK, and I do the work I do. My reality doesn't count. The reality that counts relates to vulnerable communities with which people seek to work with. Um, an example would be a fishing community called Pentacotta, uh, which is uh, in India, um, in Orissa, uh, which is the poorest state in India right now, um, in a town called Puri. And Puri is uh, a vibrant, fast-growing tourist destination, a, a major site for, for, for Hindu people to, to visit. And Pentacotta is a community of people who shifted from the south. They migrated further north to Orissa to live on this beach. Some 5,000 families live there. Easily over 20,000 people live on a beach. They've lived there for some 60 years, and they migrate, and they come and go. And these people in Pentacotta are very vulnerable, very vulnerable to, um, to, uh, to storms. There was a very big uh, and bad cyclone in 1999, the Orissa Super Cyclone. Pentacotta, with a lot of other communities, was very badly affected. Now, the strength of Pentecotta, because it's easy to talk about vulnerability only, the, the strength of Pentecotta relies on cohesion, organization, a structure of, of management, of governance, um, relating to the some 20 or so smaller villages that, that, that have come together, and relates to people decisioning and driving and being in, well, being in the driving seat relating to what they want to do, their ability to negotiate with local government. Um, this community will shift, doubtless. They've been there decades, but uh, it's a dangerous place to be and the land is not formally owned and quite literally people are building on sand. This is not good. There's no sanitation. Water is expensive to buy. There are some wells, but not many. Uh, so this is not a good place to be. Uh, so finding another piece of land is one of the issues. And how do you do that? Well, hopefully you're not forcibly evicted, but hopefully you're able to negotiate with local government to find a good place to go where you get land ownership, you get land title, and you can live, and you have access to your means of livelihood, which in this case for most people relates to fishing. So the point of this relates to if you want to do work relating to reducing vulnerability in the scale of a disaster, the key to that relates to community cohesion, community knowledge, skills, abilities, girls being educated, one of the key issues around the world anywhere, dealing with corruption, corrupt practices, legalization, the stuff, in fact, of development, the stuff of uh, pretty humdrum sometimes, pretty dull, not relief stuff, not the search and rescue, vital though that is after a disaster, but the relatively dull, if you like, back office work relating to how you reduce vulnerability. And that, the key, that is the key to an awful lot of work relating to actually making things better.